What you guys, it's that time again for a new video and in this one we're going to be looking at these four pieces of software and doing some tests and see what comes up on top. So we've got a bit of a shootout with uh, Norman Malware Cleaner, uh, Dr. Webb's Cure It and also I think it's called MEC Soft uh, Emergency Kit and also we've got Adaware Antivirus. Now I'll try and get this one running this time. Didn't run in the last video. Now we did do some other ones in the last video but this one it's against these four and we'll see what comes out on top I've already uh, infected this system pretty heavily and uh, as you can see we've got a lot of stuff running on the system um, client.exe you can also see some other stuff here yeah we've got these three running which are taking up a lot of CPU and also this one here we've got some other stuff running on the system and it's pretty slow so it may take a bit of time to do a scan let's start off with Norman and uh, we'll see how that uh, fares. So we'll just start this up. So we accept the agreement here. Now I've already got this updated and done a big download. These are pretty big downloads, but we're going to get this started. We're going to do a quick scan here and uh, let this run and see what it finds. So we'll just let this run. We've got the scan options all, everything's all set to detect everything, so we'll give it a fair run and see what it comes up with. Okay, so that's the actual scan now finished, and as you can see it's only found six infections. Uh, it's not deleted any of these, so don't worry about that, they are still on the system. I disabled the actual um, quarantining and cleaning process in the options here, so it allows me to run a test with other stuff and leave these infections intact as you can see here malicious files cleaned zero and uh, objects uh, quarantined is zero so they are still on the system so I only found the uh, six uh, infections and what we're going to do here is run another scan and remember this is only a quick scan so we're going to run another scan with another piece of software so let's quit this out and uh, what we'll do next is uh, we'll run Dr. Webb's Cure It. And uh, I'm going to click OK here. And then continue. And then we'll uh, start the scan. And this has all been up to date. This is all the latest updated versions. Just downloaded it and we'll run this scan and find out what's what. Okay so that's the actual scan now finished for Dr. Webb's Cure It and as you can see that's detected nine so we've always got these here and we can take these out these ticks if we wish and uh, full shut this down it should be fine just remove these so we can do another scan with another piece of software okay so I'm going to close this off and then uh, we'll do another scan and that was nine now I know these are not big figures but they are getting detected so the next one we'll do is uh, this uh, MEC soft uh, emergency kit and it says it's loading millions of signatures so we'll just let this run so we'll just let this uh, do its update it's going to update a load of signatures here and uh, once this is done we can run a scan on the system to make sure we've got all the latest updates to give it a fair chance now I've got high hopes for this one I'm hoping it's going to come up trumps and uh, give us a high result okay that's the update now complete as you can see and uh, we actually still have the processes still running as you can see we've got the explorers here and uh, we've got these still running on the system and uh, what we're going to do now is run a scan with this um, piece of software so what we're going to do here is just make sure all the settings are correct 
and we're going to hit scan now and all we're going to do is a quick scan here because I want to keep it the same as uh, other ones the smart scan same as quick scan and programs and windows files so we need to make sure that we do this one because it's going to do the actual uh, windows files as well otherwise this is only going to do active programs and spy, uh, spyware traces so we'll do a smart scan here and straight away we're getting some higher results here from this as you can see and this is still running its scan here and you can have a look at some of the locations by hitting the plus signs here and you can see these are in the roaming folder and there's that client and then there's that um, the one there that's running and we can have a look at that right here you can see that one right here the one that's doing the was using up all them resources and a red registry key Okay, so that's the actual scan now finished and it stayed on 17 but as you can see here um, there's some nasty stuff on on here we got the medium risk here and there's some areas that we can look at here in the roaming folder as I said and there's some registry keys and loads of other places here like roaming folder and other local.exe so we're going to give this one 17 I'm going to close this one off and put that down as 17 pretty impressive and uh, the last one is uh, add aware and I'm going to run that right now so we're going to click on this and run this okay so here we go uh, we've already got a couple of quarantines here going on as you can see and we're going to run a scan here right now so we just need to check our options first make sure we've got an up-to-date you can see it already starting to quarantine stuff and uh, what we're going to do here is try and find the update. There we go. Check for a newer version. It's up to date, and now we're going to run a quick scan. So I can see here, quick scan. And you can see the actual adware coming up and quarantining all these files on the system. So we'll check the quarantine uh, after this. And that was a quick scan, two infected files. And let's see what it's uh, found inside here. So the day is the 12th, and as you can see, it's found quite a lot on the 12th. It's finding all these files. You can see them here, unless they're the same type of file okay it's finding them inside that malware folder so I'm gonna discard those but it has detected them as you can see but these are actually ones that are inside the folder and not running on the system this one's running on the system so that's one there so we found two on a quick scan there 50 frets quarantined uh, but these are all in that main folder there as you can see okay let's take a look here and I can see what's happening here you can see explorer.exe and uh, what it's doing it's it's quarantining them and it's just re keeps recreating itself by the looks of it so let's have a look inside um, program data here and um, we'll go inside program data and it's probably recreating itself here because there's nothing in these folders now And there's tons of files here you can see it's just re adding itself I think and that's what's happening it's adding new files and folders each time and this keeps quarantining them so uh, that's probably what's happening there the virus is still running and keeps uh, recreating itself uh, and that's why we've got such a big long list of all explorer.exe here so we'll have to discard those we can't uh, take those on on board um, but let's have a look here we've got we did have two 
detected here as you can see and this is just constantly doing that so I think we're going to discard that so really uh, I don't know what the real result will be for this one um, I thought it was doing pretty well there until I'd spotted that um, quarantine thing going on there and it's still doing it now as you can see so we're going to I think the jury's out on that one so we'll leave that one and just let me close this off obviously it'll keep running okay so let's take a quick look at the uh, system here you can see it's still running all these processes are still running on the system and I think that's what was causing that issue there and what we're going to do here is I'm just going to give um, Malwarebytes a quick blast here even though it wasn't in this list and I'm just uh, intrigued to find out what actually uh, gets detected here so we'll do a quick update and close this off so what we'll do here is give this a quick update And then we'll run a quick scan and just see what a malware bytes finds. And we'll just let this quickly run and we'll find out what happens here. Well, I don't know what's happening here, but it seems to be going mental and finding loads of stuff. I suppose we'll uh, have a look at once it's finished and find out what that is. Okay, that's a scan nearly finished now. And I'm just wondering what that has actually detected because there's a lot there. And it's just started up again towards the end, finding loads more stuff. So we'll find out what this is in a second. It's nearly finished now. okay so that's the scan now finished and uh, <laughs> I'm just staggered by the amount that's found there I don't know what that is but we'll have a look in a second here and uh, they're all in the temp folder here backdoor bot as you can see coming down here loads here as you can see and that must have been that one that kept creating itself or something I don't know but that looks pretty horrific um, but what we're going to do is we'll remove all these but pretty impressive from Malwarebytes there and I think you can you can only say one thing it is probably the best out there and uh, by far and uh, we're going to remove these from the system these are all on the actual system they're not actually in that downloads folder what Adaware was finding this is actually finding stuff that's on the system running so we're going to remove all these and uh, that'll be that So I think we're going to call this one done. So I hope you enjoyed it. The results there were for Dr. Webbs was 9, Norman was 6, and also uh, MSC Soft was uh, 17, and Adaware actually detected two on two uh, files on its scan, but then it kept um, using that um, quarantine to quarantine that same file over and over and over again. So I'm not so sure what the score totally would that would be. Malwarebytes again couple of thousand uh, it was off the chart that was so you can make your own minds up there really what is the best tool on the market right now and it's in my opinion it's definitely malware bytes and uh, I'm pretty impressed with that MC soft as well emergency kit that done pretty well um, I would say Adware was probably in the realms of being third and then you've got uh, dr. Webb's cure it and also Norman was uh, stone last so I think that's going to be about it. So I hope you enjoyed it. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoyed these videos, hit that subscribe button and you can keep up to date with all my latest videos. And also, don't forget to rate my videos, guys. Hit that thumbs up on there because it does really help me out. And, uh, and I'll be making more useful videos again in the future. So I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great weekend and I'll see you again real soon. Bye for now.